This is the BB, the sold out tiny Linux computer with a reflective memory LCD, a physical keyboard, and a Raspberry Pi as the brain, all jam packed in this tiny Blackberry clone. Today, we're going to dive into what made the BB so special and why it's sold out online and who benefits from actually using it. This is the Unboxing Gadget. Let's dive in and explore. Let's get it. All right, so before we unbox the BP, let's quickly take a look at who made the BP and kind of what it consists of. So the BP is an open source hackberry per se that was made by the company SQFMI. You might ask what that stands for. Well, it stands for Square Femium, which is a group of art and technology enthusiasts that bring about trans transformative ideas, you know, in the technology space. So there it is. Squirfemium, <laughs> the weird naming. A bunch of people making stuff and making cool stuff. And on the site, it shows just that. You have the Watchy, the Badgy, of course, the BP, and a few others, and who knows what else they'll come up with. But today, we're going to talk about the BP, this programmable Blackberry with a Raspberry Pi. And before we dive into dissecting it, let's take a look at what it actually really consists of. So here we have it. We have the screen. We have a Blackberry keyboard, you know based off of bold or tour you know one of those older blackberries we have the battery in the back and we have this clear case which holds everything together so it's a pretty cool looking device and of course let me not forget the raspberry pi at the top now that holds all everything for the brains for the bp of course it has a micro sd slot it has the lights it has io ports you know it has everything needed to get the bp up and running so with that let's move on to seeing what's in the box Okay, so when I first got this, I was like, man, how the hell do you get this thing turned on? Well, right at the bottom of the device, there's a switch, which flips it on. However, you have to have a custom Linux or use the one provided by BP in OS. And for slimper sakes, I used the provided one. I did, however, choose the legacy one to get it work. But once I got everything downloaded, I was off to doing something right. And last note for installation, do make sure you have the latest firmware. On the BP Getting Started Guide, there is a section for Download the latest firmware image, just to make sure you have that or you might have some problems turning on your BP. Now that we have the BP up and running with Linux, I do want to preface this by saying this is definitely a particular gadget that might not cater to everyone. If you aren't the one who wants to tinker with devices, this might not be the one for you. Some enjoy the pick up and go of certain devices, but this one's a little more hacky as you do have to set up some software, Linux, I mean, you have to set up a few things to get everything working. This kind of reminds me of the pocket chip or maybe even a Flipper Zero, where you can have it and have very minimal stuff, but to get it really, to get the true value out of it, you gotta set things up. Okay, so now that we got it on, what can the BP do? The beat bear, what can it actually do? So there are a few things it can do. You can run some retro games, you can play Kirby on it. Um, any Linux type games, you can easily install this thing. Of course, um, the screen doesn't have any color, but any of those quirky Linux games you can get on and running. You can install a Python GUI, create different Python applications on the interface. And you can even install custom operating system this, like Pumpkin OS, which is pretty cool, which emulates a Palm per interface. Or if you want to, you can just use as a portable Linux computer. And with a Linux computer, you can do a lot of different things. And lastly, I do want to shout out the BP Discord. It's a great place to stay up to date on the latest BP news, BP apps and games, hardware, anything related to the BP, it's a great place to go. So definitely check out the Discord. Okay, so last thing, how to get a BP. Now currently, there isn't really a set way to get a BP. You can either go on eBay, you can join the Beeper Discord, um, you can find it on like Facebook Marketplace, but there really isn't a way to get the BP as the V1 version sold out. Now, according to the Discord, there is a V2 version coming out, but no one knows when. So your best bet is to search on eBay to find one. Okay, so in conclusion, these are my final thoughts of the BP. It's very simple, clean, has a nice overall design, it makes it feel modern yet approachable. Now, it's not the easiest setup process, but it does require some patience and level of coding to get it working. So if you do like that type of stuff, this is definitely a device for you. Next. Now, it does have a lot of potential. You can do things like run Python applications, run different versions of Linux OS. You can run a few games. Of course, it doesn't have a color screen and you're running Linux. So the games you run are limited, but you do have that option. Now, the BB is something that is sold out. So unfortunately, you can't get it. People are listening to BP for sale, so you do have that option. All in all, this is a fun device and definitely a cool device to tinker with and play with and has a world of possibilities. So there it is, the BP. Either way, I'll catch you guys next time. This is the Unboxing Gadget. Peace.